it's that combination of that sweet, sticky caramel chicken and that tangy carrot and herb salad that really make this an epic dish. So the first thing we need to do is make our sticky caramel and we just want to put some brown sugar into a saucepan. Now you want a heavy base saucepan for this one because it is a caramel, it's going to simmer for a little while and we don't want anything to burn on the bottom. Okay, and to that I'm going to add a little bit of water and then we just watch and stir as that sugar and water becomes a beautiful glossy caramel. And you want to let that bubble away, take it to the edge of reason just before that sugar burns that you get just the right sweet and slightly bitter flavour. Okay, so I can see all those furious little bubbles now and I can smell those sugars. So I think it's time to add in my chicken and I'm using chicken thigh here because this is going to simmer for quite a while so I want a cut of meat that's going to stay nice and juicy. And to that I'm going to add some coconut juice. So you can find coconut juice now in any major supermarket. Just a cup full of that. You could just use regular water, but I just love that extra little bit of flavour that the coconut water adds. Now I want to add some fish sauce, some finely chopped garlic, and a really good hit of ground white pepper. The end flavour of this dish should really be sweet, a little bit garlicky and peppery. And it's as easy as that, my friends. Just turn that heat down a little bit and just let that bubble and simmer away until it gets nice and sticky. So about an hour. Come back and check on it though every now and then and just give it a bit of a stir. Now while our chicken's doing its thing, we're gonna make a pickled carrot and herb salad. So this is one of the things that'll really elevate your home cooking. Creating contrast in flavors and textures makes everything extra special. So I'm starting off with some, just some strips of carrot here. I'm going to add some slices of red chilli. Now this is a mild red chilli, so it's more for a little bit of colour rather than the bite. And then I want to add some white vinegar, some sugar and a pinch of salt. I'll mix that together and in the time it takes for that chicken to cook, our carrots will be perfectly pickled. So we're about halfway through our cooking time right now and I can see that that liquid's starting to evaporate and that chicken's just starting to get nice and glossy. But I can also see a little bit of chicken fat and juice that's starting to accumulate on the side. So I'm just going to use a spoon and just sort of scoop that off and then give that a little bit of a stir. And it's really starting to smell magical now and just let that continue bubbling away. Okay, now as you can see, patience really has been our friend here. Look at how sticky and glossy and thick that sauce is. Oh, just magical. Now just take that off the heat and we want to finish our tangy carrot salad. Okay, so just squeeze out most of that liquid from the carrot and the chilies, leaving just a little bit of liquid in there. It doesn't have to be completely dry. Now we want a good scattering of fresh coriander and some beautiful mint leaves. Oh, look at those beautiful colours. Okay, so now chicken and all that sticky glossy sauce comes out into our serving bowl. And then just to add a little bit of a finishing flavour, I'm going to sprinkle over a little bit more pepper and then top that with that fresh carrot and herb salad. 